This is the 341 yard par four fifth hole here at the International. Now, this would be the perfect place that I think we would all wanna be for our second shot. Flat part of the fairway, about 123 yards left. So that means in a perfect situation, we would hit our tee ball about 220 some yards. You will see some of the pros at the uh, live event going for this. Some of the big boys are gonna drive the green. But question is, how are we supposed to tackle a hole like this? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Let's hit the tee box. So in a perfect world, we too would hit our big dog and put it out there as far as possible. And since I'm, I'm not uh, big of a hitter as uh, the top players in the world, I get it up there and I have about 65 yards left, center of the fairway perfectly, and put it on the green and I have a good look at birdie, but worst case scenario par, that's if I were to hit the perfect tee ball. So easy par there, but that's a bit of a risk. So let's rewind and uh, try it a different way. So unfortunately, we don't always pipe it right down the middle of the fairway like we want to. So what happens when we do take the big dog and don't hit it as we had expected? So we wind up in trouble. And of course, we're gonna go for it for our second shot. And that's gonna leave us once again in more trouble. And then by the end of the hole, we end up with the dreaded double bogey, all because we decided to go for it off the tee box. And we turned an, an easy hole into a giant number. Well, that's a double bogey. And I'm guessing we didn't play this hole the smartest way possible. Maybe we should rewind and try again. All right, now we're gonna play it the smart way to give ourselves the best chance for birdie because we have an opportunity here. So we're gonna take our four iron. Unfortunately, we don't always pure it down the middle of the fairway. Our four iron got us in a little bit of a trouble and we don't want a dreaded double bogey again. So what we're gonna do is pitch out to the spot that we had hoped for off the tee. Now we're gonna hit a decent wedge. We're on the green. We have a good look at par. Worst case scenario, we make bogey. Well, that's a bogey. Thinking I played it smart, but I think there's an even smarter, better way to play this hole. Let's rewind and try it one more time. So here we are again, we're going to play the smart play and uh, hit a club we can get in the fairway more often than not. But this time we're playing it ultra smart and what we're gonna do is take a club that will give us that 220, 230 mark and with a miss hit, still hopefully carry trouble. Unless we, of course, we totally miss hit it, but we're not gonna plan for the total skankaroonie we're gonna plan for just a thin or just a slight miss hit. And this five wood will get us over the trouble and still put us in a good position for a second shot. So that leaves us right where we wanna be, even with not the greatest shot in the world. And we still have a good opportunity to get this close to the hole. Almost made birdie there. That was by far my best look with the safest play. So there's more than one way to play a hole, even a short par four, be strategic and know where the trouble is and know what club you can hit to give you the most chance at birdie. So let me know how would you play this hole. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next video.